Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are moving on from the United States commanders and we are going to uh, take a look at the Japanese commanders and go over them in as much detail as I can and give you guys an idea of which ones are best for which class. So uh, hope you guys are ready. Hopefully this will be a little bit shorter than yesterday's video because we had a bunch of stuff going over in the beginning of the yesterday's. Um, but there's quite a few commanders to get through, so let's go ahead and start with... Uh, first of all, I'm going to probably, like, just obliterate these names. So I apologize to the Japanese out there. I mean, no offense, I'm just stupid. <laughs> so just bear with me. But we're going to start with uh, Raizo Tanaka. So Raizo Tanaka is the first commander in the tree that you start with unlocked. Uh, he is going to be the general purpose um so with that in mind let's check out what he's got for his base trait he gets increased damage of your torpedoes it's great for japanese due to the fact that both their cruisers and their destroyers have ridiculous torpedoes early on and uh they just get better from there uh, now as his first skills we've got subsurface venture which reduces torpedo tubes reload time and increases the travel speed but it increases the uh, main battery reload time for your destroyers. So you get two knots on the top speed of your torpedoes. You get a uh, minus 6% to your torpedo re reload, but it takes 5% longer to reload your main batteries on your destroyers. Not a bad trade-off considering for the most part, Japanese destroyers as gunboats are terrible. So they're, they're uh, kind of a one trick pony. If you're having to use your guns in a uh, destroyer for the Japanese, you're in trouble. Otherwise, you could just flat out reduce or increase the travel speed of your torpedoes with no negatives. So uh, that's up to you. But personally, having a better reload and higher top speed, I would say, is worth getting the uh, destroyer's guns a little bit longer reload. Second tier. Uh, reduce the detectability range of your destroyer at the cost of decreased maximum HP. So again, going full stealth mode, reducing the amount of, uh, or the distance that people can spot you from, always going to be a good thing, especially in destroyers. Um, and you lose a little bit of HP for it. Again, if you're having to use your hit points in a destroyer, probably not doing it right. I'm not one to talk because I do it all the time. <laughs> Increase the ship concealment rating and again, so this doesn't give you a uh, detriment to your HP But it's a smaller bonus to your uh, concealment. So this is only 3% for the second stage 5% maxed out this one is 5% on the second stage seven and a half percent maxed out So uh, this is the better option even though you lose the hit points But I could see why people would go with this so you don't lose hit points All right Reduce the torpedo tubes reload time. Again, very torpedo centric. Straightforward. I mean, it just makes your reload faster. Can't, can't really say much more about that. Increase torpedo range while reducing main battery range. Again, allowing your torpedoes to go further, even though your main guns do not go further. They're actually reduced. So that's a good trade. Getting extra range is always a good thing on the things that you're going to be using the most. In this case, torpedoes. All right. On alert, enable warning indicator of incoming long range enemy fire. And uh, you get a better rudder shift time. So if that's, a, if that's something you're looking forward to personally, you see what I selected. Torpedo all day long. Uh, so let's go to this. Smoke on the water. First of all, love the title. <laughs> I love that. It's a great song. And now I'm going to have it stuck in my head probably for the rest of this. So uh, thanks, Wargaming. Appreciate that. <laughs> Increases the smoke screen deployment time as well as its duration. So obviously it takes longer. So you might get that extra pump of smoke out. And they last longer. It's a win-win. But you can increase the maximum speed of your destroyer at the cost of reduced precision of main battery. Again, Reducing the main battery's effectiveness, however, going faster. That's a trade-off I'm willing to give on a destroyer for the uh, Imperial Japanese Navy. Give me speed. Gain an additional engine boost. 
increase its duration and decrease the reload time. So you get an extra charge for your engine boost, you get a reduced reload time, and you get a longer duration while it's uh, being used. That's good across the board. Some might say that that would actually be better than this. Uh, so keep that in mind. That That's actually probably better than this because you don't lose the uh, precision on your main batteries. And you go faster with an engine boost active and this gives you an extra one. That's, that's a good thing. So uh, yeah, Rizo Tanaka. Pretty good destroyer captain. Or it could be a cruiser captain as well, but mostly destroyer. Uh, Isoroku Yamamoto. Now, if I remember correctly, and I, I may not be remembering correctly, but this is one of those legendary commanders on PC that has very specific skills that allow you to, if you complete certain things while using them, you get bonuses. Um, I'm fairly confident I saw that in a uh, Mighty Jingles video recently. So uh, keep that in mind. I don't think that those are implemented on here, obviously, but it's just something to keep in mind for maybe down the road. Uh, base trait, what has he got? Right through. Enhance the armor piercing capabilities of your cruiser. So this looks like it's going to be a cruiser commander right off the bat, right? So what does he get? He gets burn it down XXL, which is always a good thing for uh, HE shells above 140 millimeters. It's going to have an increased chance of causing a fire or increase the main battery range of your cruiser. Again, a very good thing. Um, for, you know, this is, this is an either or. Uh, this gives you the bigger bonus, so maybe this would actually be the better better option here. Um, but as you can see, I chose the extra chance for fire here, even though it's very small. Uh, then the second tier, we've got, before it's too late, increase torpedo visibility range, or increase the chance of causing fire with your cruiser's main or secondary battery HE shells. So, again, stacking the fire chance right there. So... Moving on to third tier, we have increase the maximum speed of the ship, okay, or increase the armor piercing capability and maximum damage of your cruiser's AP shells. There you go. That, that's a very, very good, um, very good perk right there because it gives you more damage and more penetration. So both good. Decrease the incoming damage to your ship. That's actually a pretty good one as well. Um, but given that this has bigger bonuses and it's direct damage to the enemy, this is probably what I would choose and as you can see I already have. Uh, last tier, we have steer clear which improves the ship steering as well as reduce steering gear repair time. So if your rudder gets knocked out, it uh, takes less time to uh, be fixed. Or increase the precision and accuracy of your cruiser's main battery shells. There you go. Dispersion reduced. Precision increased. Both good. And then the last one, reduce the reload time of your cruiser's main batteries. Also very good getting that extra DPM up. But uh, the accuracy of the main batteries is always something that I try to go for because the more shots you land on a ship, the more likely you are to do damage. This, however, I mean, you could argue that as well, but if you're missing two thirds of the shots that you shoot at somebody, then uh, you're not really taking advantage of that DPM. So moving on to uh, Gunichi Mikawa. Please, uh, this is something I'm going to say as well. If you do know J uh, Japanese, or if you are Japanese, please let me know in the comments section uh, how well I'm pronouncing these. I am really trying. Uh, for the most part, it seems like Japanese names are kind of you know, as they're spelled is how they're they're uh, pronounced. So hopefully I get this correctly. So uh, please let me know, guys. Uh, I, I enjoy this sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, his base trait is clandestine. Increase the concealment of your cruiser. So right off the bat, seems like he's going to be a stealth cruiser build. So uh, let's see what he's got. First thing, burn it down XXL. Seeing a theme here. Increasing that uh, chance of fire, right? Ingenious is his second. Now, we've seen this one before. So, Ingenious enables a warning indicator showing the number of enemy ships currently targeting you. So, <laughs> you don't know how many they're going to use, 
but you know how many are looking at you. <laughs> so always good information to have, I guess. Uh, and then also increases the main battery traverse speed of your cruiser and enhances her module protection against HE damage. Uh, only problem with that would be is the fact that how often are you getting shot with HE in a cruiser? I would argue not very often. Uh, most people load armor piercing for cruisers because they are juicy citadel targets. Uh, so, but of the two, they're both very good for a first tier perk. So let's see what he's got. He's got increased torpedo visibility range. Not bad. So if you're stealth, you know, trying to play stealth and you get ambushed by torpedoes, you'll be able to see them further out. Never a bad thing. Or you get a better rudder shift time and cruiser speed. So you can turn faster and go faster, which is odd because usually they have that opposite. Usually if you go faster, you don't turn as fast. So the fact that you can go faster and turn faster, that's a win. So I would probably choose this perk over, over this one. Uh, because I'm always paying attention for torpedoes for the most part. I know when torpedoes are going to go after me. So I'm already trying to make moves to avoid them. Um, but I can understand if you're, if you're tunnel visioning needing to see those ahead of time. I can understand that. Uh, I do that as well. Just not as often as I used to. <laughs> you, can only, you can only be sunk by torpedoes so many times. You eventually start paying attention. So, <laughs> Velocious or Velocious. Okay, increases the ma- Okay, Velocious. Okay, Velocity, Velocious. I didn't know that was a word though. <laughs> Somebody get a thesaurus. Look that up. <laughs> increases the maximum speed of the ship. Pretty straightforward. Or we get Sponge, reduces incoming damage to your cruiser, increases the resilience of her weaponry, and re re reduces weapon module repair time. So, you take less damage, your uh, guns have more hit points, so they take longer to knock out, and they come back quicker after being knocked out. Pretty solid. Uh, or Fortified, which is decrease incoming damage to your ship completely. So, uh... Incoming damage to your cruiser. See, this is this is one where this perk seems to make sense. But at the same time, not so much. Because this only gives you a minus 1% of incoming damage. While this gives you a minus 2% specifically for cruisers, which this commander is built for. Plus, it gives you a minus 4% on the repair time of your modules and minus or plus 4% to the hate, uh, HP. HP. I'm going... I'm going uh, British on you guys. The HP. <laughs> I apologize. I'm, I'm, a, I'm all over the place. Uh, but yeah, so this would definitely be the best of this tier. Definitely. Uh, this would be, say, if you're going to use this on a, a destroyer or something like that. Something that's not a cruiser. But of course, this guy's outfitted specifically for cruisers. So you wouldn't want to use this as a destroyer. There are better options, as we've already seen final tier steer clear improve the step the good god i can't speak today improve the ship steering as well as reduce steering gear repair time we've seen that before acoustic chamber this is cruiser specific because this is sonar it gives you an extra sonar charge it reduces the reload time and increases its duration all three good things definitely choose this perk uh reduce damage control party consumable and re uh, reload time and it's an increase its duration also a very good perk but for a cruiser this is what you would want all right so moving on nobutaku or hold on i, I got myself tongue-tied nobutaki condo <laughs> wow or is it condo nobutaki see they flipped them on me up there in the top either way Increase the concealment of your battleship. All right, so we've got a battleship captain now. Let's take a look. What do we get? A good day's work. Reduce it. Damage control. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Reduce damage control party reload time. There you go. Or brawler. Increase torpedo detection capabilities and reduce the reload time of your battleship's main battery at the cost of lowering its maximum firing range. So you lose a little bit on the maximum range, but you gain the ability to see torpedoes further away and you reduce the reload time of your battleship's main guns that would be where i would put my my skill point uh, 
Porcupine increased the secondary battery range, precision, and accuracy. So for those times where you get uh, swarmed by a destroyer that you can't necessarily, you know, look at right away, this would be one of those perks that really comes in handy for helping defend yourself against said destroyers uh, because it increases both the precision, the dispersion, and the range of the secondary batteries. So uh, that's a bad day <laughs> for for uh, anything that gets in, in range of those secondaries. Or you can increase the main battery traverse speed. Now this is something that I prefer on battleships due to the fact that the battleship's guns turn extremely slow. So any chance I get uh, that I would be able to increase the traverse speed of the turrets on a battleship, I'm gonna try to stack that as well. Dispersion and turret uh, traverse are the two things that I, I go for when I'm looking for a battleship captain. Uh, next here, reduce the shell type switching if all main batteries are, are loaded. So you've got a 15% reduction in shell switch time if they're all loaded. So if you need to load HE because there's a destroyer sneaking up on you and you're you're completely loaded and you know that armor piercing is not going to do much to a destroyer, this allows you to switch a little bit quicker. Or you can decrease the chance of uh, your ship catching fire and reduce the maximum number of fires to three. At the same time, reduce the reload time of damage control party and its duration. This is just good all across the board. This is good. This is better. You get a reduced damage control party reload time, so it reloads faster. You are less likely to catch on fire, but the damage control party duration is reduced as well by 30%. That's a pretty nasty uh, amount to drop it by. A third, essentially. So if it was active for 10 seconds before, it's only going to be active for, what, be six and a half seconds? So, essentially. I don't know, it'd be seven, seven seconds. Because it's 30%, not 33. But you get where I'm going. So, uh, pretty, pretty nasty reduction there. But, uh, either way, a good perk. And the last, reaching out XXL, we've already talked about that, increases, actually, this is reaching out, not burn it down. Reaching out increases the maximum range of the main battery. Then we've got Master Mechanic, which increases the amount of HP restored by the repair party consumable while reducing its reload time and adding an extra charge. This is probably where you're going to put your money. Unless this last perk is amazing, this is where you're going to put your money because getting more HP back, having the reload faster, and getting an extra repair in a battleship, thank you, please come again. <laughs> and the last one, running with scissors, because that's that's something that I, I'm going to get deponetized for that, because now I'm teaching people to run with scissors. Terrible. Terrible. Enhance rudder shift and your battleship's main battery traverse speed at the cost of lower accuracy. So you're giving up dispersion, but you're able to turn faster and your guns turn faster. I'm still going with the repair. I'm sorry. Just that's that's where I'm going. Okay, so moving on. Oh, they're getting good. Heichiro Togo. That's where I'm going. Hopefully I got that correct. Somebody's going to have to let me know. Reduce the consumables reload time. Okay, that could be anything. So I'm going to take a guess just by that, though, that this is a destroyer captain, because generally when I see that that perk like whether it's in here or over here on the right uh it's a destroyer captain so let's go check increase the travel speed of torpedoes by two knots uh on the second so it was probably one two and then three so it increases by one knot at each level um barely out of peril increase the ramming damage dealt and reduce ramming damage taken so not bad you get an extra 40 percent of uh, damage dealt and you take 20 percent less damage when you ram something. Generally speaking, you, you, try, you try to avoid ramming people, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and then burn it down XXL, we've talked about this a million times, chance of fire above 140 millimeters increased. Uh, increase the ship concealment rating, increase the main battery traverse speed, and increase torpedoes visibility range. Uh, this is kind of dependent on what you use it for. 
you're going to be using it as a uh, destroyer, you definitely want the boost to concealment. If you're going to be using it as a cruiser or battleship, you may want to use this. Uh, and this, just not necessary. Reduce torpedo tube reload time. That's good for both cruiser and destroyer. So that could be used for either. Reduce shell type switching if all main batteries are uh, loaded. And that's a pretty good bonus. So that was probably uh, 15, 30, and 45%. So definitely worth it there. Uh, when you get that thing fully upgraded, you'll have a 45% chance or 45% less time to switch between AP and uh, HE if you're fully loaded. So that's a pretty significant bonus. And the other one, increase the maximum speed of the ship. So pretty good. But being able to reload your torpedoes faster, always going to be a good thing for both cruisers and destroyers. So this isn't necessarily a destroyer captain. This is kind of destroyer or uh, cruiser. Wouldn't use it as a battleship captain, but for destroyers or cruiser, this is a pretty good one. Increase smoke screen deployment time as well as its duration. That's a good one. Increase the maximum range of the main battery. Also a good one, unless you're using the destroyer. As I've already stated, the destroyers are pretty bad with guns in the Japanese Navy. So you definitely not want to use that if you're using this for a destroyer. However, improve ship steering as well as reduce steering gear repair time would be your other chance. Uh, but given the fact that we're using this on a destroyer, this definitely comes in handy. So, moving on to Takio Kurita. Kurita Takio? Takio? That's the one that's going to get me. I apologize. <laughs> the quickening. Reduce engine boost consumable reload time. That's good for a destroyer. Since destroyers are the only ones that have engine boost. That I know of. Uh, contact is imminent. Increase the travel speed of uh, torpedoes. Or, Observant Rage, reduce main battery reload time of your destroyer and improved torpedo detection at the cost of slower rudder shift speed. So, you can see torpedoes further away, your destroyer's main gun reload is reduced, but you turn slower. Um, that's not bad, not bad, but for a destroyer, I'd rather have this. Uh, increase the ship concealment rating, or... Enhance your destroyer shell damage at the cost of increased ship visibility. So you're being able to be seen further away, but you do much better damage, well, 2.5% more damage from HE and 2.5% more damage from AP. So not bad. But personally, like I said, if you're using this on a destroyer and it's a Japanese destroyer, probably not so much worried about the guns as you are not being seen and being able to reload your, your torpedoes uh reduce see here we go reduce the reload speed uh, reload time of your torpedoes or increase the main battery traverse speed of your destroyer and show the direction of the closest enemy ship uh do, again we've seen this in yesterday's video as well the uh turrets on or the the yeah the main batteries on destroyers turn pretty quick you don't really need a boost to the destroyers speed though some people said hey being able to see like where the nearest uh enemy ship is can be good when you're trying to hunt other destroyers so uh yeah i'll, I'll be curious to know if that was all the time or if just if it if they have to be spotted before that kicks in uh increase the maximum range and main battery and secondary of the main battery and secondary batteries of caliber less than 140 again this would be your destroyers um, but increasing the range of your guns still means you're getting spotted because destroyers cannot shoot that far uh, even at max it's what 10 10 kilometers so if you're firing your guns within 10 kilometers of a battleship or any other ship you're going to be seen and that's not where you want to be if you're in a uh, Japanese destroyer. The last one, increase smoke screen deployment time as well as its duration. We've talked about that before. Uh, reduce the engine boost consumable reload time at the cost of dim diminished smoke generator consumable. So here's one where you get a pretty good bo uh, boost to your engine boost reload time, 
However, you lose your ability to smoke for longer. So you lose probably an extra puff of the smoke and you uh, don't have the smoke last as long. And of course the last one is your maximum hit points and you lose movement speed. So moving on to our final commander, Takio or Takio, I think it's Takio, Takio Takagi. And right off the bat, increase the maximum amount of hit points restored by repair party consumable. That is a battleship skill. It's the only, well, the British cruisers have it as well, but this is a battleship skill. So what do we got from there? Reduce the damage control party relo reload time. That's a pretty good one. Or increase your battleship's main battery range and precision at the cost of higher chance of catching fire. See, this is the one that everybody got on me about uh, in the last video when I said that I would take the extra risk of catching fire for the extra precision and range to my battleship. People think I'm crazy. Why would I do that? And uh, the answer is simple. You have a repair consumable. So fire damage can be restored. I don't mind catching fire. I can tank it and do more damage, potentially killing you, and then restore my health. So that's why I don't mind catching fire in a battleship. You're going to catch fire in a battleship. It's going to be a thing. <laughs> Nobody except other battleships shoots AP at you unless they're dumb, <laughs> which I guess is a thing. But anyway, moving on to the second tier, crisscross. The increased main battery traverse speed. Again, great for a battleship. Uh, you can see it for destroyers. It's better, but on cruisers and battleships, you get plus 0.3 degrees per second. Doesn't seem like much, but if you can stack a couple of these uh, main battery traverse speeds, you can actually notice quite a bit of a difference, um, especially considering how long it normally takes a battleship's guns to, to move. That being said, increase the main battery traverse speed and AP shell damage of your battleship at the cost of decreased maximum speed. Screw this. We're going with this. <laughs> so not only do you get... Uh, your traverse speed of your battleship's main guns better, which is 0.4 degrees per second instead of 0.3, so you get a better bonus, but you also get an extra 3% of damage on top of that. The only trade-off, you're a little bit slower. You're in a battleship. Speed isn't of the essence, uh, unless, of course, you want the Iowa like I do. I, I do really want the Iowa so bad. Uh, so, Nick, on second thought, reduce the shell switching time. We've already talked about that. Or marksmanship, increase the main battery precision at a cost of diminished rudder shift. So now we're not able to turn as fast, but we get a pretty nice bonus to uh, the main battery dispersion. And so if we were to take this perk and upgrade it, like say we get a, let's just have some fun here. Okay, so that's another thing I wanted to mention. You can rank up using nothing but your uh, commander's XP to level 6. So 37,000 XP, we are now level 6. Uh, we would choose this perk, we would choose this perk, we would choose this perk. And you can see now where we're at as far as these being mastered. This one would actually go up to... Uh, yeah, an extra 3% three, 3 on the damage going up to 0 .8, per, 0.8 degrees per second on the traverse speed. And it stays the same as the battleship speed that you lose. So you get better bonuses and you don't lose any more speed. So you can see where that becomes much better. Uh, and that's only on, you know, the next rank, which would be 7, which only costs 5 of the uh, promotion orders. But I'm not going to use those because I already know who I'm going to use those on. I'm trying to get a very, very good American battleship captain. <laughs> uh, but moving on to our final tier, we have reaching out, which increases the maximum range. We've already talked about that. Reduce damage control party consumable and reload time, but decrease its duration. So you reduce the reload time, but you also reduce its duration. So the time that it's active is reduced. So definitely not preferable there for a battleship. You want that to stay up as long as possible for those times where you might get hit by multiple torpedoes right after you may have accidentally hit the button. 
uh, increase the spotting radius of enemy torpedoes, but decrease the number of repair party consumable charges? Absolutely not. Uh, I would never choose this perk ever. So I would most likely go for the extra uh, range or this, but not so much this. See, that goes up. It's five and then goes to nine and then probably goes to 13 on the third rank. So, yeah, I, I would say definitely going to go with the increased maximum range. This might become worth it when you get it fully upgraded because of the uh, bonus uh, getting better. But the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The cost not getting any uh, worse. So, uh I could see that being a thing. But Takagi Takio, a good battleship captain. Definitely right up my alley as far as uh, what I would use. And that has been the Japanese commanders, guys. So real quick recap. Let's look through them. Raizo, we know, is our uh, general purpose. He can sail anything and you will be fine. He's got perks in there for everything. Isoroku Yamamoto is going to be your cruiser captain very good cruisers right here all the good gun gun perks and stuff for your cruisers takio takagi is going to be a battleship captain if i remember correctly yep definitely battleship captain and between him and the other battleship captain i'm not 100 percent sure who's better so let, let's just look we've got reaching out we've got marksmanship gyrating drill bits might put him over the edge uh, so that gives you plus three to AP shells and faster traverse what was uh... oops we went too far where did we go Takio Takagi, there we go, uh, was the other one. Or no. Wait, that, that's who we were just talking about, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a dork. All right, so yeah. So here's your battleship captain, Takio Takagi. And then we got Nobutaki Kondo. And he was our uh, concealment of a battleship. Uh, increased main battery traverse, secondary battery precision. Uh, firefighter on second thought. Okay, so yeah, this was the, um, <clears throat> this was the battleship captain for, uh, tanking. Like, if you're one of those guys that wants to reduce the amount of damage taken or just be able to survive longer in your battleship, this is the battleship captain for you. Um, Hichiro H Togo, or Togo Hichiro. Hey, 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 okay stop stop trying to pronounce it this was uh either destroyer or um cruiser but we went with the destroyer route so this can be either destroyer or cruiser and takio kurita is uh, engine boost so another destroyer captain gives good bonuses to travel speed uh, con ship concealment, reduce uh, reload time, and better smoke. And for the final, we have cruiser captain, uh, Mikawi Gunichi. Pretty sure we've already talked about this guy, but uh, yeah, yeah, this is the guy with the, the cruise. This is your cruiser captain. If you want an, uh, a Japanese cruiser captain, this is the one. Uh, it gives you the best perks as far as uh, more chance of being fire or causing fire or reducing the damage you take. Uh, it allows you to go faster and have faster rudder shift or C. Then you've got your sponge skill and your sonar. So definitely a good commander choice for a cruiser. And I hope that helps, guys. Again, I will be uh, doing the next one on the UK so hopefully you guys look forward to that unfortunately I'm missing one for him but uh, I will still be able to go in there and show you his skills and whatnot uh, so we'll, we'll check that out and as always let me know what you guys think in the comments below 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.